In data parallel optimization of deep learning models, several workers compute gradients on their own batches of data. After computing them, they need to share what they found with each other. But because the gradients they compute are typically hundreds of megabytes large, this communication limits the scalability of distributed training. One way people have dealt with this issue is to apply lossy compression to the gradients before sending them around. A popular scheme is to only send a sparse set of the gradient coordinates, and another approach is to quantize the coordinates values. PowerSGD compresses gradients differently. We see the gradients as a matrix, its columns correspond to the layer's input features, and the rows correspond to output features. We compress this matrix using a low rank approximation. You could compute this using a singular value decomposition, but that is very expensive. So instead, PowerSGD computes a cheap approximation to this factorization using just one step of power iteration. Okay, let's take a look at communication in distributed gradient descent. In normal uncompressed SGD, workers can quickly settle on their average gradient by computing it in a hierarchical fashion using all reduce. Unfortunately, you usually can't use all reduce for compressed gradients. If you have two one bit gradients, for example, then you cannot average them into a new one bit gradient without additional approximation. So for that reason, compressed algorithms resort to less scalable all to all communication or use a parameter server. PowerSGD remarkably combines the benefits of compression with all reduce. Let me show you why. To compute the low rank approximation, we apply matrix multiplications with the average gradient across workers. But we can actually avoid the heavy communication required to compute this average gradient. Because of linearity, each worker can equivalently do the computation on their own gradient, and we average their much smaller outputs instead. Because this is a normal averaging operation, PowerSGD enjoys all the benefits of all reduce. Now, even though a sloppy rank 2 approximation to a gradient of size 1000 by 1000 is quite inaccurate, PowerSGD still converges. That is due to error feedback. With error feedback, every time workers compress a gradient, they memorize the errors they made locally. And the next time a gradient is compressed, they add this error to the gradient before compression. This means that all of their gradient will be used eventually. To sum up, PowerSGD can achieve very high compression ratios, and we find that these reductions in communication can result in significant end-to-end -end training speedups to achieve the same test accuracy as normal SGD. The best part, it's simple. You can start using PowerSGD by plugging it into your existing optimizer. You shouldn't have to modify the current hyperparameters. With high enough rank, you should be good to go. If you're interested, have a look at our paper or the code on GitHub.